everybody out there in YouTube land. Uh, this is Tom again, part two of the MACD divergence. Um, here we go. Let's uh, let's get going. Let's just dive right into this here. Part one, we explained what divergence was. So let's go through uh, five or six charts and see if we can find some good trades here. Here's a chart of Verizon. Verizon. Here we go. Here's our first bullish divergence. Market makes a low. MACD makes a low. Market makes a lower low. Three months later, MACD makes a higher low. That gives you the lines cross, confirming the divergence, and that gives you the green light to go long. Go long this market. Now, let's say, okay, let's say you did, we go long here. Market comes up. And we're starting to, uh, everything's good until we hit right around in here in this area. Because what do we have forming? A bearish divergence. Market makes a high. MACD makes a high above its previous high. Verizon goes on a tear up to the, over 33. And the MACD bunches up, the lines cross, and right in here, you're like, you know, that's MACD divergence, time to bail, take profits, and just wait on the sidelines. And even though we have not so far come down into a bear trend or any kind of decent retracement, look what's happening again. Market makes a high, goes to an even high, and MACD goes to a, a pathetic <laughs> pathetic high compared to its previous high so sometimes you can get into these triple divergences where the market has diverged and it doesn't respond it tries one more time to go to new highs and the MACD goes to another low this is triple divergence they don't happen that often but they do um, so and also this is known as a classic double top so if, if you know if we break 32 here, that would give you the green light to short that market. But um, time will tell if that turns out. But this trade was a great trade on the long side. Okay, let's see. Oh, Pfizer. Yeah, Pfizer. I was made fun of um, um, publicly for being bullish Pfizer. And, of course, I love to be um, laughed at in public. Um, it kind of gives me a sign that... Uh, you know, I got a good chance of being right. <laughs> okay, there's nothing over. Oh, actually, there. Nope, nope. Take that back. There's nothing in here for divergence trades until we get into the beginning of, of July. And I remember the fundamentals were coming out, and they were saying, you know, Pfizer's got all these patents expiring, and they don't have much for, you know, new products in the pipeline and all that stuff. Um, I don't follow fundamentals a whole lot, guys. I That stuff's just way over my head. I'm not smart enough to figure out how to price all that in. I'm a chart pattern guy. I love chart patterns, and especially the divergences. They're just the cream of the crop, in my opinion. Okay, the market makes a low in uh, June. Pfizer comes down, makes a lower low. Let's see what the MACD's doing by some chance. Oh, hey, here we go. Market <laughs> MACD makes a low with the market, and then it makes a higher low than its previous low. It's it's not agreeing with the market, you know. This MACD, when a market goes to a new low, the MACD should go to a new low also. And when it doesn't, that's when you have that bullish divergence. Reverse is true for bearish divergence. So the lines cross, you go long, you know, here. Yeah, you might get a thrill for a week, you know, wondering if this thing's really going to work, you know. <laughs> but then, uh, you know, a week goes by, and okay, now we're good. All right, okay, this is cool. So we go on a nice bull run here. But um, I've, I've been out of Verizon for uh, a little over a month now, and here's why. We're long off the bullish divergence. Market makes a high right there. Market makes a higher high. What's your MACD doing? Nope. 
it's telling me that the Bears are lo- or the Bulls, excuse me, are losing steam. And we haven't come straight down or anything, but you can just see how this market is just getting tired. It goes to new highs again. MACD goes to another low. This is another example of a triple MACD divergence. And the um, the lines cross, and it gives you the green light to go short in here. And, you know, you're far enough ahead at this point. You know, you got a buck in profits. Bring your stop to break even at least, for crying out loud. You know, don't let this get away, because you never know. Pfizer could go on a bull run here in the next week. You know, we don't know or have a huge, you know, $2 move tomorrow. We don't know. So we put in a stop to protect ourselves. But it looks looks like a, at this point there's no risk in the trade, and we just hope it keeps going lower. So that be Pfizer. Uh, who got, uh, U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar has been fantastic this year for trades. Uh, first off, let's show you one that did not work here and... Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. That's not divergence. Here we go. It's this one right here. Bearish divergence. Market makes a high. MACD makes a high. Market goes to a new high. MACD goes to a lower high from its previous high. The lines cross. Gives you the green light to go short right around in here. Okay? And we've seen what happened. We got rewarded for like two days. And then uh, the market said, nope you're wrong and it starts going up and we got stopped out with a loss but the loss was small you know i mean what if you fight this thing and if you're like this thing has to go down we got macd bearish divergence you know and market's going up oh it's got to keep going down this is just the dollar should not be going up there's just no way and it keeps going up and it keeps going up and you're short from over here you know next thing you know you're still short up here and you're that, that's why you got to use stops, in my opinion. I can't follow. A mental stop just doesn't work with me and probably with the majority of people because when a trade goes against you, you know, we can tend to take it personally, and we don't like to be wrong. So use a stop. For, please, I'm begging you to use a stop. So using a stop kept us out of a potential disastrous situation. So we lost a little bit here. Now let's go to the next divergence trade, which is right here, and it was awesome. Dollar makes a high in mid-May, goes to a new high in first week of June, and the MACD lines cross and confirm the bearish divergence. And, um, yeah, real nice downtrend here, really nice. <clears throat> now the next one we see... Here's a bullish divergence. Market makes a low. MACD makes a low. Market goes to a new low. MACD makes a considerable higher low, saying momentum is probably changing in this market. And so far, we have. we have. And hopefully we go higher. But if we don't, my stop is just a little bit in the profit, so I have no risk in this market right now. So that one at that what do we got gold oh my gosh everybody loves gold don't they <laughs> there's no sign over in here everybody and their dog is bullish gold you know except me i'm long gone gold and i'm actually short now but here's uh market makes a high this is back in uh, may look at that bearish divergence now this mark now the lines didn't cross till about right in here and we it was a break-even trade we trade didn't do anything and a lot you know but didn't lose anything and here we go look at that right now in gold bearish divergence hopefully we go lower hopefully we crash <laughs> calling this one in real time not sure what's going to happen but hopefully we crash okay let's uh move on to part three and we'll go over some more markets man these 10 minutes go by fast all right this is tom signing out for now happy trading <laughs>